Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I have a flip through for you. So I had several people request to see a flip through of my memory planner and I am wrapping up this particular memory planner and moving on to a new one for July. So I thought it would be a great time to show you a flip through. Um, just a reminder, this is a big size happy planner. This one specifically is intended for memory planning, but you can use any planner you like for memory planning. It's really up to you and what style you like. Um, I changed it up every now and then. I tried new things. I had a lot of fun with this project and I really feel like it's been a memory keeping project that I can stay on top of. So I will link some things down below that I use to help get me started. Um, people usually ask me how I print my photos. I do print them at home. I have an Epson PictureMate 400 printer. Um, I used an app called print to size. I'll try to link that app down below as well to print four pictures on every four by six piece of photo paper. And then I cut them apart and use them in here. Um, primarily this is going to have a lot of Felicity Jane, a lot of hip kit club and a lot of paper person shop in it because those are the companies that I was subscribed to when I started working on this planner. All right, so if you are interested in seeing a flip through, then stay tuned. Okay, so we'll start with January in the monthly layouts. What I did was a picture a day, and you're going to see in a few months I got a little bit off for the picture a day, but that's okay. I can go back and catch up. I have the pictures. I just need to cut them out, print them out, cut them out, and put them in here. So not really any decorating, just the pictures, which I thought was a fun thing to do. And then we get going. So I use pictures of all different sizes. Um, I generally cover up over here. This had some embellishments and things that I didn't like. So I cover up over here. I do a ton of pictures. Um, sometimes I do themey things like this is a very wintry scene. And sometimes I just use supplies that I love that are interesting to me. Maybe a new kit that I just got. Here's the spelling bee. So cute. And I love having all of the little journaling and the notes to see um, what was going on at that time. I think it's a lot of fun to check it out. I love the bright colors. Look at this heart. That was Hip Kit Club. Snow days. So fun. And look, ah, it's so great to be able to go back at these little snapshots. Um, I didn't do the currently pages, just not something I was super interested in. So I may go back and just cover those up with scrap of paper um, when I'm finishing this up. All right, so here is the month of February. You can see I had to squeeze two photos in here on the 28th because my twins were born on the 28th and I wanted both of their pictures to be there. So again, Felicity Jane, keeping it pretty simple, pretty simple layouts, um, just bringing in color. A lot of times I would bring in washi tape to cover up some of the colored uh, stripes that were on the page. The new planner that I'm moving to has a... Um, is like super neutral. So I'm really excited. Um, a lot of times I had tip-ins that I thought were fun just to be able to include a few more pictures, a little more journaling. And I just like the change from week to week. I like seeing what was going on. I did use dimension at times. So these are cardstock or chipboard. And then these are puffy up here. When it was a big week, I would insert an extra sheet. So this is a memory, uh, keeper. It does have the disc hole punch. You can get this from the Happy Planner. I'm not sure if they make the size anymore actually, but it just snaps right in. And this was great. For instance, this was the week of all my kiddos' birthdays. So all three kids were born um, in the same week, which is crazy. And so I had a lot of pictures to document for sure. Getting into March, a little bit sticking together. No big deal though. So pretty. I started using some kits from Paper Person, or sorry, from Paper House Productions to do a little bit of decorating on these monthly layouts, but um, I got a little off on the monthly ones. I need to go back, take a little time. I love this kit. This was from Paper Person. It's all about cooking. I just totally dug the colors. Super fun. And it's fun to look back. I mean, geez, so much has changed in the past six months that, um, I mean, you can see masks. This is our first time back at in-person church. 
just hanging out with friends, virtual school. And then my kids ended the school year in like regular school, which is great. More Felicity Jane, so pretty. Started trying to use a few stamps. These are all stamps, which I thought was really nice. Those are great. And getting our vaccines, documenting this. This looks like Maggie Holmes pieces. Again, using some chipboard pieces, which usually isn't what I use in a lot of my documenting or a lot of my journaling. So I was nice to get to use these um, every now and then. And moving on to April. So look at how far behind. This is how far behind I am on my um, picture of the day. So mid-April. So I gotta do two and a half months Catching up on pictures, I have them. I have to sit and print them out. Things just got crazy busy. But the main thing is I got the documenting down, which I thought was really um, important. Okay, so I have some tippins on this page. This page was interesting because I had these. I like to print my pictures in regular color. I don't like to alter them very often at all. And so I had these pictures and this is a bright orange background. It was super distracting and I wanted those pictures still. So all I did was create a tip in and um, covered it up so the pictures are still there but they're not distracting on the main spread so just a little tip um, that's another way you can use your tippins when you're wanting to use those pictures but you don't want them to be distracting so my parents are visiting soccer season getting started baseball it was a big big time this spring so much fun look at how pretty i love there's something about a completed project let me know below a project that you are proud of, like that's a completed project. I feel super good about my memory planner because it's almost all caught up. Yes, I don't have the monthly layouts ready to go, but it is pretty, uh, pretty caught up and that always just makes me feel super good. So let me know below what is it, what's a project that you are caught up on, whether it's just your regular planner, whether it's a journal, whether it's, you know, Bible journaling that you started regularly, whether it's a scrapbook, let me know. I'll be, I'll be interested to hear what are you proud of that you've completed or at least kind of kept up with. Oh, I love these. This is from the Keeping It Real collection from uh, Pink Fresh Studios. I loved that collection. Oh, I love those stickers. So stinking cute. And then my favorite collection of all time, Color Story from Vicki Booten. I feel like that collection was made for me. All of the bright colors. I I would use it every week. If I were not making videos for you guys and thought that you might get bored, I feel like I might use color, uh, color study every week. Oh, poor May. I'm coming, May. It'll be done. It'll be caught up. It'll be okay. All right. That's my birthday week and Mother's Day. It was a busy week. My birthday on Monday, Mother's Day on Sunday. Lots of journaling in here. So I added that tip in to include. So cute and another tip in right here so I could have even more journaling and another one so a lot of tip ins in this one that's just a great way to kind of extend the space on a memory planner page if you have a ton of pictures and then there were weeks I didn't have a ton of pictures and that's okay it changed up that's how life is sometimes you have stuff going on sometimes you don't and um you can just document other like tiny small things reading a book that's just me working at my desk working on my planners so fun. I love starting to use washi tape more. So I have a huge washi tape collection. Um, I wasn't getting into it very much, but now that I've done more planner things, I definitely have found myself reaching for it more. It's great to um, get to incorporate that, something that I've had planning on the go, a little treat for myself. This is my favorite, hanging out with my moms. Look at them doing baseball. It was so cute. I love, love, love. Looking back. It's so nice to look back and when things have been crazy or busy or whatever it is to just be able to look back and see like, look at all the good things we have going on. Um, lots of journaling this week. I kept all my pictures down the middle. I totally dig that because I didn't have that many pictures. So I was able to put a lot of journaling and it was fun to be able to keep that um, in the middle for sure. It's some altered numbers right there. It works. It definitely works. This is an extra page because this is the end of May. And then we get into the beginning of June. Again, haven't done my monthly quite yet. This is headed to the whatever craft house. 
a fun retreat. So stinking cute. So of course I used color study for that because it was like made for the whatever craft house. So adorable. Here's the last week of school. Oh man, so much journaling, so many things to do the last day of school, important to document. This one I did with paper person. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we get into this particular week that I just documented. This will be the first week of summer. And then I'll have one more week. I'll document this current week and then this will be wrapped up. So I have one more week to go. This one will be wrapped up um, and I'll move on to my new memory planner. So that's my memory planner. Um, how do I store it? I will store it just like a scrapbook. I'll just put it on a shelf. Um, but I do like for my kiddos, for my family to flip through these. I like to pull them out starting in December, the scrapbooks from that year. So we can kind of look back and see what went on during that year. I have another one that was from the end of 2020 and it was fun to be able to look back and see all of those memories. And so I'm hoping my second one, um, the goal would be to keep it to two a year. As you can see, it gets pretty fluffy, pretty thick. That's okay. Um, no, it's not in page protectors or anything like that. Um, I want it to last for sure, but I'm not anticipating that it's going to last forever. These are fun family memories, but not necessarily scrapbooks that I, I want my kids to have to um, hold on to forever. I hope that they appreciate them. I hope they pick a few of their favorites and then um, I guess I'll have to let go of the rest. And for me, it's way more about the fun I had kind of reliving the memories while I was working on it, the fun I have looking through them. Um, and I just love it. I think it's such a fun pastime. This has really invigorated my memory keeping from someone that used to be a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, got super overwhelmed um, with all of the things and trying to keep up. This has been something that has allowed me to play with pretty supplies, to get memories down on paper, to document our family story, and to have a really good time doing it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I do po uh, post memory planning videos every couple of weeks so you can watch the process and I have a whole playlist on my channel that you can check out as well. Um, I've listed some of my favorite supplies down below with affiliate links so heads up on that you can check those out. A huge shout out to my YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Um, as a scrappy YouTube member you get sneak peeks at all of my videos plus extra videos every month that are for members only so that's something to check out there is a link in the description box to find out more about that as well all right i hope that you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative